And then she had to go to the bathroom one day. Are you videotaping me? Yeah, I want you to tell me that story again about your friends on Facebook. Oh, about me getting frustrated? Yeah. Well, yeah. Every every morning I wake up at 3.30 in the morning and I start posting. And so I post to my public wall. I privately send a message to everybody on my friends list. And I would do them in groups based on who knew who, you know, whatever. And then I would tag people and I would do this every day. If I took a bathroom break, I was online posting and sharing because we knew that everybody's posts were being blocked. And I was basically begging people to send me $5, not me, but maybe they didn't feel comfortable sending it to some like random charity they didn't know about. Give it to me. I told them the three people that we were trying to support, we had three water protectors. And I was like, here's their names. Here's their stories. I've got a mom that wants to get to her son. I've got a man that wants to get to his boys. I've got a young man that just needs some support and he's videotaping and putting his life on the line. And all we need is $5 from every single person on my friends list and we'd have a few thousand dollars. Now I can send a shelter, I can send people, and I can send supplies and we could act like we cared. So, so your main objective out here is for what? To help the people that are freezing? Yeah. yeah. Stand, honestly, if you really want to hear it, to use my white privilege. Uh, I could see that put my face in front of it like yeah. oh you don't want to this doesn't mean something to you because somebody's tan it doesn't feel like it's coming for you because they don't look or sound like you you're lying to yourselves they sound just like you they look just like you they bleed just like me yeah when i saw the little girl who got her arm broke because she was protecting the boy who got separated from his grandparents i've cried every time i've told that story the little grandma in the teepee and she's surrounded by the guns and the men and all she wants is her land. It was always their land, her land. And we were offered the opportunity to survive here. And then, and all my Christian friends that don't get it. They don't get it that everything our economy is based on is a rape culture. Everything we've done to this planet is based in rape culture. We take what we want, we put in what we want. We don't ask for permission and we don't take care of the consequences. It just broke my heart over and over again. And I would talk to my mom and I would I'd talk to my friends and I kept hearing, oh yeah, I think I heard something about that. Oh yeah, I think I heard something about that. <coughs> and it was this balance between this rage in my heart and, and so much love and agony that I knew I couldn't be enraged, so which is why I didn't post that angry post. I thought about it. I thought about calling every one of them out. I'm like, where the hell are you right now? So I was praying on it. And then that day, Marilyn made a post. She said exactly what I was thinking. Where are you? You like my posts? You share my posts? A couple of you, right? So I'll get 60 likes, I'll get five shares. Yeah. And yeah. you're liking it at the bar while you're drinking your $10 martini after you had your $7 latte. <laughs> And you're stoked to tip your waitress 12 bucks and you'll buy your buddy a beer and you'll watch the game. But your heart, how is your heart not bleeding here? Yeah. Flint, Michigan, two years. Children have brown, flammable water. They have cancers and sores growing in their mouths. Yeah. And the government is giving them a stipend of a couple of bottles a day mm. of water in a plastic bottle. So we're actually subsidizing a chemical company to produce a plastic bottle to fill it with water that they stole out of our land that we have to pay for out of our tap <laughs> so we can give them just enough drinking water to not quite die but you can't you get to choose do you shower do you wash your dishes does your child have water today and they're getting cancers and they're getting these boils and and for two years that those people have been crying and when I saw the cries here, what was different was that every day I turned on my Facebook at 3.30 in the morning, there was a new tribe coming. There was another truck coming. There were horses coming. Yeah. And that's all I've ever wanted to see. A neighbor saying, not on my watch. Yeah. It's not good for you, and I won't let it stand. Well, most people don't care unless it... Uh affects them directly if it, if it if it's happening in their front yard but that's what they're missing it that's, is it, it's right this is not here they are knocking on everyone's back door i have one 30 miles from my house coming through 
They're trying to dam up the river again Plus the water's all to not let the salmon come through. Of course, and there you go. I mean, the water's connected. Let's just talk about clouds and rains and rivers and oceans. And, but they're coming. And this is the practice grounds. They're seeing what they can do, what they can get away with, and they're figuring out how to do this. And once they figure it out, they're going to keep doing it. There's no reason to stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imminent domain. It's martial law right now. Yeah. They have turned militarized vehicles against United States citizens. Period. End of story. There's absolutely no gray area there. And they lie. Oh, man. There isn't even a, le a lawful permit for them to do what they've been doing. But we'll protect their unlawful behavior with military action against women and children. We will break young ladies' arms who are holding a young boy who was standing with his grandparents. We'll pee on their homes. Yeah, mm -mm. that's deep. Mm -mm. No. And I kept talking to my friends about it. And now, where I come from, everybody owns a gun, everybody goes to church. You hunt, you fish. We love our Second Amendment rights because that's when we always talk about why we love it. We love it because we don't want the day to come that we need to defend ourselves from our own government, which we have seen time and time again. Yeah. We shot our own soldiers returning from World War One on the Capitol steps because they were asking for help. Every union that's ever tried to get started, somebody died. Many people died. Brutalized, terrorized. Rape culture. Right. Over and over again. And we say stupid shit, excuse me for swearing, like locker room talk we make things sound little that are big and we make the big things sound little yeah. so I got a little nuts I guess by other people's standards I wouldn't shut up about it I yeah. told everybody we're all nuts because we're trying to defend this land yeah we're all nuts because we're trying to protect Martin our County, waters we're gonna we're not gonna allow unlawful behavior how lawful is it to deny the Red Cross access how lawful is it to deny us access to town to get propane how lawful is it to round up wild animals and ship them off while starving them and letting them be without water. They'll do anything and everything they can. And tell a different story to the media. Every time. Every and so time. you have to watch your live feeds. And as soon as you catch one, you need to share it in hard copy, not just on your Facebook. You have yeah. to. Because two seconds later, you'll hear the press conference. Oh, they were shooting arrows at the planes. <laughs> And just anyway, everybody, it's just, uh, me out here once again, and uh, you, you can see the you can see the ice up there. How it's just adding, building on top of everything. Um, even out here, we got mounts of this stuff, and it's uh, it's just everywhere. The certain couple of feet of snow here and there. Uh, we're doing everything we can to stay warm. I even took and uh, see how we threw some plastic over the canvases. Um, over the, the pop of it's just a temporary. I need, I need to resecure it, but uh, also this way here. So we're, we're trying to build one of those uh, shelters there. Uh, see the wood frame. Um, still got a bit build, build the base, and we're getting more material for that with the donation money and everything. Uh, I can't I can't do this live media right now because of where I am. I'm getting no live media signal. But uh, I wanted to show you that uh, everything we said we were going to do is being done. But uh, you guys, uh, you guys see that uh, how how rough it is, and it's not just it's not just Native Americans. It's it's all of us. I mean, we're we're all out here. Everybody here's uh, cousins and uncles and aunts and and grandkids of of some of you guys out there. Um, just keep in touch, man. It's I said most people don't care unless it affects them directly. What you don't realize is this is where it starts. This is how it starts to affect you. Uh, today it's this, tomorrow it'll be something else, but it'll be running right through your backyard one day and then, then you're gonna want everybody to help you. Um, you want people to stand by you and defend and help defend your, your land or, or your property or uh, you don't want government to take anything from you. Um, you gotta start somewhere. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this right here. I just wanted you guys to know what was going on. Uh, I'll be, try to video later when I can get some media, some uh, live signal. Bye.